All right, ladies and gentlemen, Ben here with MLM Monday episode 84. Super excited to connect with each and every single one of you. Um, we're going to have a, uh, this episode's cool today. At the top of the hour, I get to go launch a new direct sales company. How cool is that? So much fun uh, jumping in with some of the great folks we get an opportunity to work with. It's always exciting to plug in with some really interesting uh, companies here in the space today. So topics for today's show. If you're, if you're just watching and you're brand new and you're watching live, comment in watching live. If you're here and you're watching and you're um, on replay, go ahead and comment and watch on the replay. I know that as we pick these different times, Monday afternoons, we have different attendance live versus replay. It's always awesome to have each and every single one of you on. So let's go ahead and uh, walk through these, the topic for today. Why the right solution matters, what you can learn from Grant Cardone, and planning with the end in mind. You know, one of my uh, favorite authors, and he's a business influencer in the space, is Grant Cardone, and he talks he, has the, he shares this in his pitches all the time, where he says, why don't you rather uh, pay a little bit more for the solution that actually fits your needs than a little bit less for something that you don't think will fit your needs? And this is a really interesting concept when it comes to anything technology-wise that you're building and setting up in the space, is you need the right solution that's going to work culturally for your folks, right? Culturally, for everybody that's involved, where they can plug in and win. And this is something that... I, I feel that in the nine plus years, oh my gosh, next month's going to be year 10 for me on the on the vendor side instead of being a, a rep in the field, right? And I, I, I share that I find this to be really true uh, when you're planning technology projects or software projects is it's always a hundred times better to just go for the right solution right away for what's going to actually serve your needs than thinking that you'll move up into something later right inside of the space. So this is something I've always uh, done in the sense of when I'm meeting with a client or a person, I never try to think about it as, okay, well, this is our base offering and we'll just get you what you really need later. Um, one of the practices that we do at our team that I think makes a lot of these launches and everything else really different is that we spend the time up front listening to the client and hearing about their business model and understanding who they really are what they really need and that sun is just crazy sorry guys skylight with a bright light and doing this experience allows us to say okay if your goal is to go do a million dollars a month in revenue in your brand new startup and you haven't done that yet well these are all the things you would naturally have in place to get to a million dollars a month in revenue or if your goal is to do a million dollars a month in these two countries and you're already doing 10 million a month in your current country you know, what are the things that you're naturally going to have in place so that that actually becomes a reality? Um, it's, a, it's a practice of just taking your goal, and people will call it planning with the end in mind or beginning with the end in mind, and backwards drafting that out. Some people like to call this the backwards blueprint. Other people like to call it, you know, working backwards. It's the same thing. But it's really important, folks, is when you start any technology conversation to know what you want at the end of the day, right? All the way at the end, what you truly desire. And then work backwards to what it actually takes to do that and then execute, right? I, I can share this. It's so much easier to just do it right the first time with the end in mind that you want and to be changing stuff on your tribe and your subscribers. Because the truth is, there's a cost to change. There's a cost to change in every company's economy. Every direct sales and network marketing company has this momentum that gets created in the field as people figure out how things work and what they do. And if you're changing stuff all the time on them, not just giving them you know, new content to share, but you're changing core pieces of how they share or how they present or how they enroll, then it slows down the duplication for the people who aren't as super plugged in right? And that's the part we don't want to do. That's the part we want to watch for. So we want to make sure that we're always actually helping those people win to their absolute best. And so by giving them the vision of where you're going right away and then building for that and building towards it and sticking to it, that's where you create real results. So if you got a goal in your, as far as your technology of where you want to go, or you have a goal, whether it's with your app or marketing systems or commission software or shopping engines, uh, this backwards process is something that uh, we do for free for clients in what we call a discovery session. 
And in these discovery sessions, we walk through for people in the space who've actually done those things, right? Who actually have hit those goals of what it is you're looking to do. We walk through what actually is done, what types of systems were in place, what types of things you would have to do to make that a reality for yourself. And it's a powerful practice. It's a powerful exercise because then you get to visually see the entirety of what you would have to do to make that a reality instead of just not knowing. You know, so many people step into a project and they, they understand step one and they jump into step one and then they, then they think, oh, I'll figure out step two when it comes about or step two or step three, right? In the Bible, it says there's, you're a fool, right? If you try to build a tower without first counting the cost, right? Counting how many bricks it would take, who, what man would do that, right? And I think about that all the time in technology. How about we actually put together, right? A plan for what it's going to take to actually get where you want to go and then do that, right? makes a huge difference in this space. Well, if you are interested in a discovery session like that, or you'd like to walk through that type of exercise, PM me. I'd be glad to introduce us to your staff. I'd be glad to uh, connect and walk through what that looks like. Uh, for Mads, Stephen, Petri, Carton, fantastic to have you here on the line live. Looking forward to connecting with each and every single one of you soon. Uh, love jumping on Facebook here. I'm excited to connect more. If you have comments, questions, thoughts, things you're looking to accomplish, message in. we got some really cool interviews coming up here in April. I'm very excited to share with you and I'm looking forward to connecting with each and every single one of you soon. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.